Hey, and welcome to the first uh, dedicated video in my phone showcase uh, playlist, a uh, playlist that I just started today. What we have today in this showcase is this. This is the Motorola Devour from 2010. Um, it's a um, it's just a small phone that was available for like, I think $180 or something with Verizon back in the day. And it's the first, well, it's the second Motorola with the Motor Blur software, the first being the Motorola Click. The Motorola Click was released, I think in 2010 January, and this thing was released in 2010 March. Um, I always found this phone to be quite interesting, weirdly, because of its shape and stuff. And um, it's somewhat rare. It's not like super, super rare, um, but it's somewhat rare. I gotta clean my table. It's extremely dusty. Anyway, this phone is somewhat rare. There's like a few of them for sale on um, um, on eBay. Um, but something that a lot of people spoke about this phone is how well it's built. And now since I got it to my hand, damn, this thing is really well built. Like we got aluminum at the back. This for a phone from 2010, now you can only imagine the iPhone 4 and the Nokia N8 were some of the best built phones of 2010. But this thing, the, the sliding mechanism, damn, this... This feels really premium. This is all metal, by the way. This is aluminum. And they sold it for like $180 or $200. This was pretty cheap. Um, it has no front camera. It doesn't have a flash. Um, and it has this weird... Um, oh, where is that? There's this... You have to pull out something. Oh, yeah, you can pull this out, I think. Um, is that how you do it? In the photo, oh, there you go, you push it to a side. Uh, that's how you access the battery and stuff. The battery is here. You can, I think you gotta pull it out with this uh, thing. So you pull it, yeah, that's how you access the battery. It's quite strange. Um, there's no removable back. So it was not only Apple and Nokia who made sealed phones back in 2010. Uh, this also did. So we got a 1390 milliamp hour battery, a BS 6S, 6X. Um, how does the battery go back? Does it go? It goes like that. Okay, so non removable. Uh, it's got this really nice battery bay kind of thing, and it's got the micro SD expansion over there as well. Uh, I think there should be a flap here. It's broken, it's gone. Um, yeah, but really well built i'm i'm i keep saying this but like this phone feels solid the re one of the other reasons i bought this is because people said this phone was built like a tank and the slider mechanism feels really premium now when motorola makes sliders they always make really good sliders um, but this feels really premium all right let's move to the other table Okay, so we have the phone here. Uh, let's have a quick go around of the phone before we turn it on or anything. So you got the dedicated camera key. It's not a really good camera, obviously. I don't know why they did that. We got, I believe, to be what is the power button, volume up and down. Oh, that's the power button. Then what's that? I don't know. Um, like I said, the ports on this side, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It's got the Moto Blur branding. Like I said, the second phone with Moto Blur. Lighting's a bit bad today. This is because uh, it's, uh, it's a gloomy day out here. Um, let's turn this thing on. Now, there's an easy way to bypass the stupid motor blur on this thing. Um, let me show you how to do it. So this phone works. Um, oh, I keep hitting the tripod. Um, this phone works and um, I always want to get my hands on this phone. I always thought it was an interesting phone. In, in case you're wondering, this is a home button. It's a physical home button. Damn, let me let me grab an iPhone 4. Hold up. Oop, I keep knocking this thing. Let me get an iPhone 4. Hold up. So we got an iPhone 4. And we got a Nokia N8. Okay, so iPhone 4 and Nokia N8. Let me hold these two. So Nokia N8 is built out of aluminum as well. Really well-built phone. iPhone 4 glass and stainless steel, the best built phone of 2010. Um, 
you know how this phone feels. Everyone knows how this phone feels. It feels extremely premium. It's the phone that set the golden standard for phone design and phone um, build quality. Today, we still base all the designs and stuff off the iPhone 4 somewhat because aluminum, well, stainless steel, basically metal, metal and glass. Um, without the iPhone 4, we probably still be heavily using plastic in flagship phones, but that's what I personally believe. But I believe the iPhone 4 was the gold, set the golden standard for build quality and design. But this thing, it may not look as nice as the iPhone 4, but it's built so well, especially for a slider phone. Um, I don't know. They, they, I don't know how they managed to even give it for like that low price. So start touch to activate let's activate the phone listen for instructions uh this is strange programming in process hmm we'll wait till it do, do does all this crap it's it's cdma so yeah i don't think it even has a sim card slot no it's one of those open network phones um so i'll let it do its thing and we'll we'll skip to motor blur okay so Obviously the old uh, CDMA network is not really working. So let's go ahead and um, get rid of Moto Blur. So function E, function E, blur off. There you go. That's how you get rid of Moto Blur on at least the phones that have keypads, but you can bring the keypad up in other phones as well. So now the annoying setup is gone. We can have a look at the phone itself. So let's see what this bad boy is running. We got, where's settings? Um, sorry about the audio being all over the place. Um, it's just, um, um, I have to look at the phone through the viewfinder sometimes, but I also wanna look at it through uh, with my own eyes. Um, so about phone, let's see what this thing runs. Android firmware version 1.6. Um, so what is that? I'll put it up on the screen. I completely forgot what 1.6 is. Let's see if this thing has an update. Hold up. So, uh, trying to get the phone to update, uh, gives me an error. Um, the, um, I'm trying to create my Google account here and it, um, I don't think this phone has an on-screen keyboard. So it, it always prompted me, well, it, it did prompt me to open the, uh, keyboard here the main keyboard so i can just type in my username and stuff so let me do all that and be right back so even without even after signing in system updates won't work so i guess this phone is stuck on 1.6 donut um i guess um that's one of the downsides of this phone this is so old that uh the play store is still called uh market as you can see there so good old days um, let's check the camera around this thing. Let's see if the dedicated camera button engages the camera. It does. So I can't really take photos on it. It requires the, uh, it requires the SIM card. Let's see if we have options. It's, I think it's a three megapixel camera. Fun, funny story, GSM Arena does not have a page on this phone. This phone is, I don't know, quite obscure. There is another website that does have the specs of it, but I'm not sure how accurate this thing, that website is. But it has a three megapixel camera, um, video, so video profile, so video quality, I'm pretty sure it's 480p or something like that. Um, let's see, so the camera requires a uh, SD card slot, so we're not gonna do anything with that. This, I think, is this a home button? Let's open an app. Let's open the camcorder. So back in the day, camera, the, the video camera was separate from the, uh, the um, how should I say, the, the, the uh, camera, the camera app. So is this, what does this button do? Oh, right. I think this is a quick, is this a quick menu button? Yeah, I think it's a, just a quick menu button. Um, there is a, di oh, right, 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 right. Oh, right, it's a touch button. That's interesting, look at that. It's a touch button, let me open that up. Look at that. Oh, so it's, a t it's, it's, it's clickable. It's like a navigation, okay, okay. So let me scroll around on this thing. Let's, uh, let's choose 
um, Google Talk and you can select it. So you don't have to use the uh, the um, display. So it's only selection only. You have to use the home button to go back. So that's a touch button. Now I guess this thing is the dedicated Moto Blur button. Voice, oh, that's voice commands. Well, I think Moto Blur is built in voice command. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, so that's just voice commands. But I thought Moto Blur had a dedicated button to it. Let's see what widgets we have on this thing. Good old widgets. Oh, this OS is so old. Um, analog clock. Oh, so let's put on, I don't want to put too much stuff on this because it might slow it down, but let's just keep seeing what we can put here. Search, social status, weather. Um, I'm not going to do that now. Um, let's see what else we can put. Um, widgets. You know what? Does this thing have live wallpapers? Wallpaper gallery? Nah, this is this is way before live wallpapers. I think live came in 2.2, Android 2.2, I think. I'm not sure. Change the wallpaper. Oops, sorry about that. My camera cut out. So what I was going to say next is let's uh, explore the typing experience on this phone. So let me just move back over here. The lighting isn't that great on that side, so sorry about that. So text messaging, new message. Let's, uh, I already typed on this to log into my account. So keyboard fields, um, okay. You have to kind of click it with your nail because um, um, it does not want to click with your thumb pad. It's a bit, it's got, it's got a bit of heft to it. So the clicking is not that, uh, like, it's not easy, so. Try and type my channel, yeah. Especially with my, my my thumb is too big for this, so let's try and, let's try typing my channel name. So obviously not as fast as typing on a on-screen keyboard, but it'll work. Can you, wait, does this, oh yeah, it does have an on-screen keyboard. That's much better, so as you can see, um, much faster typing on the on-screen keyboard. Uh, not as accurate though, but it's slower. Uh, well, with the keyboard, it's slower. Let me try that again. Well, yeah, it's not way too off, but then this is less work on your fingers than typing on that keyboard. And once you get used to it, you're good. Does this thing have a... Okay, no, I only can turn it that way with the uh, keyboard open, but yeah, the keyboard feels decent. Um, it's it's definitely got some heft to it, but I wish it was less less like less tense. It's a bit needs a bit more force to be clicked. Um, that's the keyboard. We covered the sensor like thing here as well. Um, did I did I actually send her text? Whoa whoa, whoa. where where did that go? Hope that hope it didn't go somewhere it shouldn't. Uh, this phone has been wiped, so it's no big deal. Why is text messaging? Mm, it was here a few minutes ago. Oh, there it is. Where where did I send that? No, it didn't go. Okay, yeah, obviously. The network doesn't work anyway. So, I guess that's it for this video. There's nothing much else I can cover. It's just a nostalgia trip for this old phone. Just looking at stuff that has not been seen in a while. Um, but yeah, that, that was the uh, Motorola Devourer uh, from 2010, an interesting phone, not much information online about this phone too, especially like, like I said, GSM Arena didn't cover this phone, which is quite strange. Um, really well built, solidly built slider phone from Motorola. And um, yeah, I guess that's it for this. Oh, my camera cut out again. So anyway, uh, that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.